This video is an overview of how to create and estimate a model using Smart POS 3. There is a menu bar, very rich and deep menus. There's also a toolbar. And the toolbar is context sensitive. This is the modeling window over here. This is the projects window here. And this is the indicators or data window. Right now, I haven't even created a model to estimate. So the only thing that the toolbar lets me do is to create a new project. We're going to use the corporate reputation model, which all of you should have when you install Smart PLS 3. You automatically get that with it. Project Explorer, your project window here, all of the sample project. The workspace is just the folder on your computer, on your hard drive, where you are actually storing your project. In the Project Explorer window, you see one project open, Corporate Reputation Project. You can look at your workspaces and you can change workspaces quite easily by clicking on this star here. Note I only have one workspace that I've used with this latest installation on this computer. But if you had used many workspaces, you would have a list of them here and you could easily switch to another one if you wanted. Let's create and estimate our own model. And we will do this within the Corporate Reputation Project. To create a new model, all you have to do is right-click on Corporate Reputation and say, Create New Path Model. And you have to name it something. So we'll name this First Smart PLS Model. Then say OK. We're going to create the simple model, but we're going to build it ourselves. Note also we have all of the indicators have appeared down here in the indicator window. We need to create some latent variables and have them associated with their measurement items. So we'll start with the customer loyalty target endogenous variable. I'll use the control key. We'll select those three indicators and then I'll grab them, drag and drop them over here to the right. It automatically left justifies them. You can drag this thing around like this if you want. We do need to rename it. We're going to name this Kusol. You can right click and say rename, or you could just hit F2, which is the hotkey. You get a, a dialog window that opens up that allows you to rename it. We need that single indicator customer satisfaction construct, which was a single indicator item. So we grab KUSA, which is the only indicator for that latent construct, drag it out there. Let's rename this. I'll hit the F2 key. We'll rename this KUSA. Note that the latent variables at this point turn red. They use colors. Green is good and OK. Red is bad and means that you have a problem. You have an error. You cannot estimate the model. And you can use the tooltips to find out what the error is by hovering. We need another latent variable, corporate competence or comp. And it has three indicators. Here they are. And I'll use the shift key this time to grab them. And we need corporate likability. Or like so we're going to grab these and drag them out and again we need to rename these two variables so this one will be named comp this one will be named like and so now we're ready to draw the inner model paths smart pls has three modes the select mode which is the default the latent variable mode which allows you to create latent variables on the fly and drop them in to your drawing window like that we don't want it so i'll delete it and then the connect mode the connect mode is the mode you have to go into to draw the path relationships all we have to do to draw a path they are directional is click on the starting variable and then we click on the target variable click on the starting variable click on the target variable click on the starting variable the target variable we also want to include direct association, direct paths between comp and kusel and like and kusel. A handy tool to make it pretty, as I say, is to use the grid and the snap to geometry tools up here. It just draws a little grid on the screen and so you can, gives you something, your eye something to, to look at so you can visually line things up. So now all we have to do is estimate the model and you can do that either in the calculate menu or you can do it more quickly and conveniently in the toolbar. So we say calculate. We just want the basic one with all the default settings. We just say start calculation. It opens up automatically the uh, matrix of the path coefficients here in a tabular format. It opens up all of the results down here, but let's look at it on screen. Go back over here to the modeling window, the original modeling window, and there we see all of the path relationships that have been estimated for the effects between each pair of these intermodel latent constructs.